forgot to plug in the microphone as usual. There we go. All right. As you can see, I've got a case here that came from foreignmre.com. And it's a 2019 case. I'll flip that around and show you guys the info on that here in just a second. I'm going to move this off the table because I got some stuff right here I got to open up real quick. Um, and then we'll get into this and see just how fresh these things are. They are 2019s. And I'll talk about some of that whenever we go to opening this up. But uh, yeah, I got a little, little bit to talk about there. Running a little bit late tonight. Alright, so I have a few things here. This came from Blindside. I've got the camera set way up so the we can get the case in the frame. But he gave me some black rifle coffee. I've never had black rifle coffee before. I don't think. Maybe one time before. Maybe at Bob's or something. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that out. I've heard really good things about it. This is, uh, looks to be kind of the standard, I guess. I don't know. Maybe there'll be more info on that. Uh, got this envelope here from LA Beast. Just open it up. I, I think it's just a picture, probably. Just make sure, real quick. So I did, like I said Wednesday, I sent him a, sent him a few things in the mail. Yeah, so he sent sent along a, <laughs> an autograph picture. Uh, yeah, he didn't have to do that. Oh, and a sticker. <laughs> cool, man. That's awesome. Yeah, that'll go up on the wall. Sure, it made a good trip though. It didn't get bent, and hopefully, I don't bend it before it gets put into a frame or something. It's definitely going on the wall over here, though. Thanks for that. If uh, if he happens to see this, I doubt it, but uh, maybe. Let's get into... Now, I don't know who sent this. Anybody in the chat maybe could tell me if you happen to send this. I mean, I have a name here, but I don't recognize it. Uh, Jody, J-O-D. I guess Joe D. <laughs> I guess that's how I would say that. Uh, hello, Mr. Marilyn and James and RL, Aletha, Richard, Angry Blacksmith. I'm just going to go ahead and dig into this thing, I guess. I don't see anything in the chat popping up that uh, anybody sent it. So, all right, this is folded over right here. And I did rip the address off, so I'm good there. I can say that this came from Pennsylvania. I know that much. You guys, you guys shouldn't have. Whoever whoever sent this, you definitely shouldn't have. <laughs> I appreciate it. Let's find out what is in here. Maybe. Okay, here we go. Alright. So my fever is breaking right now. I'm sweating and I'm freezing. So... Let me, uh, as soon as I get this opened up, I'm going to make a quick post, because YouTube won't do it. Let's find out what is in here. Huh? Oh, okay. Looks like we got an old main right there, older main right there on top. Noodles and, oh, butter flavored sauce. I had this one time. What menu was that in? And the one that I had was... It was horrible. It was way past its best by date. Collared with Anato? What? How, what? What is that? Collared with 
Anato. That's interesting. Because I have no clue what that is. Obviously something to color the, the noodles. Probably some sort of yellow coloring. I can only assume. Interesting. What else do we have here? Ooh. Yummy. <laughs> Cocoa beverage powder. You can't beat that. What else do we have here? Cut this tape open. Whoa. <laughs> Check that out. That is cool. Some little mini trays. Wow. Well, we'll have to... Uh, man, I... I know that these things don't hold up very well, but uh, it'd be interesting to take a look at it. I'm guessing that that's probably 08. Could be 98, because the ones that I had were from 99, I think. I'd have to go back and look through all the different MRE menus to find out when they stopped putting the butter-flavored noodles in the MREs, and I'll bet this is probably from 98, packed by the warning company. That's, that's when you get into MREs, and especially when you get into loose items like this. Unless you know when they discontinued an item or something, if it's ever even been discontinued, then you're not going to be able to nail down exactly when it's from. Unless, I mean, it's a 10-year ten, ten range, sometimes a 20-year. Well, it wouldn't be a 20-year because no boxes in 2018. 2018, they went to sleeves. So, cool. Oh, there's four of those there. I thought there was only two. Awesome. Well, thank you for whoever sent that along. I have no idea who it was. But that was awesome. Now, let's get this case up here, and I'll make a post real quick. Oh. All right. ForeignMRE.com is going to be upside down on, the, on there. And... Here's our date, 144th day of 2019, and there's your inspection date, 522. Not to be confused with the Best Buy date, this is an inspection date. A lot of people that don't know much about MREs don't understand that that doesn't necessarily mean that they've went bad or that they've they're, they've reached their they've reached their serviceable dates all that means is they go in and look and make sure that they haven't gotten soaking wet that they haven't gotten eat up by rats or mice or something along those lines or gotten bugs in them or something like that so they just go through and inspect them <sighs> honestly i don't think that they really keep them around as long as what they used to i know in certain places they might get stored away and forgotten for a while but typically now they rotate their stock out at least every three years, if not more often. And that's what I was talking about earlier when I said I wanted to talk about this. Because back whenever, I don't know, let's just say 20, 2015, 2016, you couldn't really find MREs that were any fresher than three years old. And if you did, it was very rare to find. Now, you guys can pick up cases that are two, typically two years old is about as old as we go anymore. You know, and you're finding cases that are 2020s and 2021s even are coming out. So you'll find cases that are super fresh that are getting out into circulation. Whereas a few years ago, the, the freshest MREs that you were going to find typically were about three years old, the ones that you could get your hands on. And if not, then you were going to be paying out the butt for a case that was, I don't know, if you found a case that was a year and a half, two years old, you were going to be really paying for it. Okay, let me make a real quick post here. Well, I'm not going to use that. because That never does allow me to use my images. For some reason. All right.
yeah this is a I don't really like the the feeling of being cold and hot at the same time let's see download copy link share copy link try to make this quick guys create a post gallery Okay, done deal. All right, but yeah, cases this fresh are definitely good to have because I know back in the day the military did keep rations around, especially pre-retort pouch even, whenever everything was still canned. The military would keep rations around for, I don't know. I know, I know guys have told stories of being in Vietnam, eating World War II era rations, eating K rations is what I've heard. Numerous stories of guys saying that they had eaten K and K rations during Vietnam. Whether or not they were correct on what they had, uh, I think maybe they might have had C rations from the Korean War era. That sounds more like it, but it's possible. It's possible, and if they were stored properly, you, you think? I mean, a K ration. 30 years old if it was like uh, I don't know say it was the cheese main or something like that it probably held up just fine so it's possible especially if they were stored in like I don't know let's call it cave like areas that were really nice and cool 60 degrees or so 60 65 degrees and dark they very well could have held up so there, there are stories of military handing out what we would consider to be a vintage ration Throughout history, uh, they've, they've reused rations, especially back, way back in the day. But to be able to get your hands on fresh rations like this is, is kind of a newer thing. It's not something that's been around forever. And if, like I said, if you could find super fresh rations, you were going to pay for them. So, and now we, I guess these have been around since the mid to late 90s. I have a case from 90 eight or 99 that has what this is called a TTI just because it says TTI on here it's a fresh check freshness indicator okay so as long as your center circle right here as long as this thing still looks like a donut what will happen is when this thing gets a lot of is exposed to heat or direct sunlight that center will start to turn dark and It'll basic, and the outer ring will also turn darker depending on the climate that it's been held in. And your donut will either fill itself in, or this outside ring will start to get really dark, and then that inside ring will start to slowly fill in. Those two things happen with either sunlight, heat, or age. So there's multiple things that can that do cause these things to start to turn, and it's not always 100% accurate. I mean, it's definitely a good way to go because some of the items are probably going to be a little bit stale or down the, you know, getting down towards the range of not being as good as they could be if this indicator has went off. But I have had these indicators be completely dark in the center and even a little bit lighter on the outside, completely dark in the center, and still be able to eat the entire meal. I've had that happen. So they're not 100% accurate, but they're pretty good at what they do. And for what the military purposes use is, they're perfect. So if these things were stored in 100 and, I don't know, let's say 110, 115 degrees, something like that, say, or well, I mean, what if they were in a Connex? And they were sitting out in the desert somewhere. Probably get 140, 150 in there. If I was to guess. It'd get extremely hot in there. It would literally be baking them. 
Anything in there like Skittles or any candy or chocolate like that would completely melt. M&Ms, they would even melt. Because if they sat there for six months in a Connex, you know, like a metal trailer that goes on the back of a semi-truck, that's what they, I, that's what we always call a Connex. But these, this would probably be filled in, and I would say about a year or less. That's a guess from just research that I've done and things that I've seen. Uh, there's also a story back is back in the day. I don't know how this happened. There's photos of it online, and somehow or another, flameless ration heaters caught on fire and burned an entire connex of MREs to the ground. I don't. I still don't understand how that, exactly that happened. Gas is ex escaping. Maybe a spark when they opened the doors up or something. I, I'm not real sure exactly how that happened. All right, here we go. Let's rip into this case. Well, hopefully, there's 12 in this one. And unlike the last, <coughs> the last case <coughs> that I opened up, which only had 11 in it. And they don't mess around when they seal these cases, I'll tell you that. They are sealed and sealed well. And I opened it up, no, I opened it right side up. Um, what manufacturer is this? I didn't even, didn't even look. I think because it's covered up with a sticker is why. Yeah, freaking FedEx. I tried to rip it off, but uh, I didn't do a very good job. Looks like they're Warnicks, the Warnick Company, Cincinnati, okay. So they're Warnicks. I wasn't sure, because that sticker was pretty much covering just about everything. So there's no point in me even trying to show you guys the information over there on the side. I can't even see the weight of this case. 20 point something, probably 20.7 or 20.1. Yeah, 20.7. 20 pounds, seven ounces. All right. Now, if you guys want to get yourself a case of these 2019s, you can go over to foreignmre.com. There's a link right at the top of the description. Use the code OS10 or Old Smoky 10 You'll get yourself 10 bucks off. I don't get anything at all from that. That's literally me just getting to pass along savings from you guys. This is not a, a sponsored video other than the fact that Art and Nina over at foreignmre.com did send me this case. So... That's, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to steer you guys wrong. If they're, I'm going to tell you exactly how they are. We're going to open one up and uh, see what's what. Menu number 19. So I probably did open these up upside down, maybe. Anyways, this is beef patty with jalapeno pepper jack. Jal beef patty, jalapeno, it should say be jalapeno pepper jack beef patty. This is one of the smaller meals. I don't know if you can tell. Weight-wise, plus your main is like four ounces, I think. Oh, menu number 23, pizza slice. This is another lighter weight. It's got quite a bit of stuff in it, so it ends up being more of a thicker thicker meal, but it's just kind of lightweight. Uh, everybody likes to see the word pizza on a ration. That was menu 23. Menu number 14, creamy spinach fettuccine. I have nothing good to say about this at all. I apologize. If there's anybody out there that really, really enjoys this, I'd like to hear from you. Leave it in the comments if you like the uh, creamy spinach fettuccine. Because I think it's pretty gross. And here is uh, probably one of the better menus out right now. <clears throat> especially 2019 up well 2018 19 2020 they changed so hash browns hash brown potatoes with bacon peppers and onions this has one of my favorite items in it which is the mountain house blueberry granola and everything about this meal is actually pretty good they're going to be harder and harder to get your hands on because uh, 
that's the one that everybody's going to be wanting to pick out of a case. I can tell you, it's like the corned beef hash in the older case of, cases of MREs. That one right there in case B is going to be the first one pulled. That, and then it'll be pizza right after that. And a lot of people don't like the pizza. I I like it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I think uh, to be able to have a piece of pizza anytime, anywhere, you just you can't beat that. Uh, menu number 16, chicken burrito bowl. Another really good menu. Case B is uh, is loaded with good stuff, except for that chicken fettuccine or, or creamy spinach fettuccine. I don't know why I said chicken. If they'd have put chicken in that, it would have been a lot better. And here is your pork sausage patty maple flavor. So I guess they didn't change that yet in 2019. Because I thought they did, though. I thought the hash browns in 2019 came with the pork sausage patty. Maybe not. So there's your... Menu number seven, another lightweight menu. That one, the pizza and the uh, the beef patty are all pretty lightweight menus. This is a heavier menu, the Southwest Beef and Black Bean, menu number 24. They got a retort right there on the back. I'm assuming that's probably the main. It just, it's all squishy feeling and stuff on the back. That's fine as long as they're in the case, but if you got them loose and you move them around a bunch, that, that, that could be risky in the long run let's see one two three we got out that's number seven right there cheese tortellini and tomato sauce menu number 13 not a bad menu uh, of course it's a vegetarian menu it's got the tvp in it i do believe cheese tortellini i can't remember if it does or not maybe not i think it's just got a bunch of cheap like ricotta cheese in it if I'm remembering right. The beef ravioli and meat sauce. Pretty good menu, actually. If you like the beef ravioli, if you like, like, Chef RD and that, that type of stuff, you would like this menu. If you think you would like a certain menu, then you probably will. If you've never had it before and you think, yeah, I'd probably like that, that's a pretty good base. It's not going to be tremendously different from what your brain is envisioning it as being. So if you think you'd like it, you probably will like it. There's another lightweight menu. Super lightweight. The tuna chunk light water packed lemon pepper. So lemon pepper water packed tuna chunk light. Basically reading it backwards in sections kittens are in there doing something it's a heavier menu right here the mexican style chicken stew again we got a main directly on the top right there I'm not a big fan of the way they're packing those to be honest wish they would uh put those mains in the middle they used to pack them with the, the mains on the outsides in boxes and here's the beef goulash. Beef with brown rice, brown rice, spinach, carrots, tomatoes, and smoked paprika. Huh. This is one that I haven't had. I think that I'd probably really like this menu. This is a new menu for 2019, I do believe. It might have came out. Was this a 2018 menu? I can't remember. If, it might have came out in 2018. Beef goulash may have been a, a new menu for 2018. There we go. The whole case laid out here. I, I didn't count them. I'm assuming there's 12 there, though. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes. 12 menus there. It's going to be 13 through 24. And they're just sliding down off the table. That's a pretty nice sight right there, i got to say. Having all those MREs laid out there. Different bag styles. What do we got? Three of each. Would that, is it, would that be right? Three of each bag style. We got one, two, three of that type. Nope, we got four of this type. So it'd be four, four of each. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Three of that type. We got one, two, three, 
Oh, no, there is four of that type. Yep, four of each type of bag. So they actually do even that out. Huh. So there's four of each here, I guess I'll just move this one, of each bag type, which is these three right here in the front. And that's your three different styles, designs of MRE bag. This one being my favorite. The guys around the stack of guns with a mess nut. No, looks like a retort pouch in his hand right there. Or Claymore. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, it's got a ghillie hat on or some some sort of... Yeah, I guess you'd call it a ghillie hat. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. I don't know. I like this one too. I like this, this bag style. With the crossbar. The MRE. MRE is trademarked, right? I thought it used to say trademark right there, but beside the MRE. Huh. I don't see it on there anymore. Is it on the bottom or something? Maybe I'm mistaken. I could have swore that was trademarked. Huh. Maybe not. Anyways, now we got to decide which menu we're going to go for tonight. And... You know what? We're going to use mreinfo.com and see what's in these menus before we pick okay MRE menus and this is 2019 2019 is the last one's listed on here you click in right there and there's your menus so we got to go down to 13 cheese tortellini and tomato sauce comes with the instant vanilla pudding Ooh, the chocolate peanut butter crackers recovery trail mix lemon lime beverage powder uh, hot sauce extra what I don't understand what this is extra hot times four I seen that uh, when I was looking on here the other day and I, I didn't understand exactly what what that meant so we have different levels of hot sauce now because uh, it seems like I've seen like a level three as well or a, a three times uh, oh yeah creamy spinach fettuccine egg noodles spinach and mushrooms and cream sauce first strike bar cran raspberry of course that's gonna have the cran raspberry bar in it now peanut butter crackers uh, pretzel nuggets honey mustard and onion chocolate protein drink uh, spice crushed red pepper menu 15 is uh, Mexican style chicken stew mixed fruit cheddar cheese pretzels jalapeno cheese cheddar cheese spread crackers first strike bar chocolate cocoa beverage powder chocolate hazelnut crushed red pepper and accessory packet B Chicken burrito bowl is chicken with rice, beans, and vegetables. Recovery trail mix, filled baked item, cinnamon bun. Oh, cool. Tortillas, which is more like a breakfast item, I guess. So you save that for your for your breakfast. Tortillas, because as soon as you get these, if you're out in the field and you're actually using these in a military setting, you're probably just going to rip all, all three of them open. Take the stuff that you want, leave the stuff that you don't, so you're not carrying a bunch of stuff you won't use. If you're, especially if you're only going to be out a day, you're not going to you're not going to pack around a bunch of stuff. Uh, see, there's a hot sauce 4x again. I need to ask K-Man what's up with that. I don't understand. And this one has accessory packet C, orange beverage powder, carb fortified, uh, maple pork sausage patty, maple muffin top, so you can make your uh, uh, MRE McGriddle. Yeah, couldn't think of it. Comes with smoked almonds, crackers, peanut butter, grape beverage powder, maple syrup, beef ravioli and meat sauce, chocolate banana nut muffin top, really? Cheddar cheese spread, snack bread, wheat, plain M&M's, tropical punch beverage powder, carb fortified, hot sauce, again, okay, it's four again. Beef patty grilled jalapeno, got all gratin potatoes. 
chocolate chunk oat milk cookie, bacon cheese, uh, cheddar cheese spread, tortillas, tortillas. Yeah, I still I don't know how I feel about the tortillas on the with the beef patty. I mean it works. It's just yeah. Oh hey, there's K man. Hey MRE info. <laughs> I was just saying I need to ask you what was up with this uh, where it says hot sauce extra hot 4x. What's up with that? Is it just Tabasco? Uh, let's see. Next one's hash browns. Of course, most everybody probably knows what's in that. You've seen Steve's video about it, where he says that's basically his favorite menu in the new MREs. Hash browns with bacon, peppers and onions, granola with milk and blueberry, filled baked item, bakery item, apple turnover. Uh, I think it was extra hot package. Really? Interesting. Yeah, I, I, I kind of want to pick a menu that has that now, just to see what's up with that. Did I finish reading through that? Oh, it comes with dry roasted salted peanuts, orange beverage base, and accessory pack of A. Lemon, lemon pepper tuna, marble pound cake. You don't see pound cakes in any of the menus anymore. Like, I don't get it. That's the only menu so far we've seen a pound cake in. Cheddar cheese spread, tortillas, baked snack crackers, cheddar, lemon lime beverage powder, M&M's. Mayonnaise, accessory packet B. I don't know what that even is. Uh, the beef goulash. Applesauce. Chunky peanut butter, strawberry jam. White wheat snack bread, patriotic sugar cookies. That sounds like a really decent menu. Uh, and then we have the pepperoni pizza slice. Cherry blueberry cobbler. Jalapeno cheddar cheese spread. Vegetable crackers, oatmeal cookie. Chocolate protein drink. Yep. That's how I remember it. Southwest style beef with black beans and sauce, apple pieces and spice sauce. I'm a spice pound cake. Yeah, I like the spice pound cake, man. That's those are really good. Kind of almost like borderline like a carrot cake kind of. Uh, applesauce pound cake. The applesauce pound cake's killer. So there's two menus that have a pound cake, and that's it. Wow, that really kind of sucks. Two menus per case, probably. So there's probably only four. See, that's that's where you get into, like, the desserts are one of the more sought-after items. And that's why. Because there's only two in this entire case. And one's apple, and the other one is, what was it? Uh, was it the chocolate and vanilla mix? Marble, yeah. So it's a marble pound cake. Now, what's the accessory packets? Anything special about them? Accessory packet B does not come with coffee. Accessory packet C comes with the fake sugar, which I do not like. Okay. Well, I guess what's the consensus? Uh, any anything in particular you guys saw that you'd be down to uh, that you, you'd like to see opened up? Uh, let's see. I mean, the, the pizza slice is calling my name, but what would be the best for testing for freshness is what I'm thinking. Like, what would age the worst in all these menus? Let me look here. Uh, there's not a whole lot of stuff in here that ages poorly anymore. I mean, strawberry jam, pretzel sticks, wheat snack bread. I mean, you got and, and these are... Let's see, these are less than two years old right now, or right at it, right at two years old, being the 144th day. So a little bit less than two years old right now, I do believe. Uh, ooh, the cherry Twizzler Bites. <laughs> uh, that I guess, oh, that, that's a menu 10. Dang it, I went too far up. I was like, those, those will tell you if they've been exposed to heat, because they, they will turn into this stuck-together mess. 100 bucks for what? $100 for it. What did I miss? Uh, Chris Stivers. Hey, what's up, History Savior? Uh, Fordman says pizza, pizza would age the worst. You're probably right about that, actually. Um, it does tend to change colors. 
and the cheese does tend to really I guess change colors as well but it kind of gets a little bit more stiff it absorbs some of that quote unquote sauce that is on there which it does have sauce on it and the bread obviously wouldn't be as as when you break it open it wouldn't be as white I think they did a really killer job on the pizza. I, I, I catch a lot of people giving it crap, but honestly, it took 30 years to get it to the point to where it's at, and it's definitely passable, and it it tastes like a decent frozen pizza, I guess, especially if it's heated up pretty well. Yeah, fewer pound cakes, fewer cheese spreads, less happy K, man. <laughs> I think it's less happy everybody, man. I don't understand why they've they've moved away from so many. I, I guess I do understand why because when it comes down to actual the actual nutritional value of a lot of this stuff, they've been going more towards things that uh, that are good for your cognitive abilities, that are good for your digest your digestive tract. They they've been trying to do a lot of things with enhancements with vitamins minerals and it's it's crazy what the what they've really been diving into i figure we'll be seeing some sort of super some sort of super nutritional bar come out very soon not the first strike bar but something maybe kind of similar but it's going to be <clears throat> it's going to you could survive i guess you could survive solely on first strike bars also just you would have a more balanced meal with a single bar, and it won't be like a survival bar. Uh, Marilyn says, I agree with Art Goulash. I second the beef goulash, History Savior says. Imari, Imari pizza is better than a restaurant pizza. <laughs> I was at once. <laughs> Sir... Problem with it, it seems they used wheat snack bread for the crust. Yeah, yeah, it, it's 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 a lot better than the wheat snack bread. You you got to give more credit credit than that, Ford man. The the pizza the crust one. It's actually, in my opinion, not that bad. But it sounds like we've got some folks that are voting on beef goulash here. Daniel, yeah. Looks like the beef goulash is where it's at. Does beef goulash have a pound cake in it? Which menu was that? Beef goulash, beef goulash. There it is, 22. Applesauce, chicken peanut butter. It does not, but it does have some good stuff in it, though. It's got the applesauce, chunky peanut butter, strawberry jam, uh, white wheat snack bread, patriotic sugar cookies, cocoa beverage powder, and accessory packet B, which doesn't come with coffee, which is fine, because we have the Black Rifle coffee from Blindside sitting here. So that's perfect. Oh yeah, it doesn't have it doesn't have the hot sauce, does it? I did kind of want to see that hot sauce. Where is it? Yeah, it doesn't have the hot sauce. Oh well. Um, does pizza have it? Let's see. I doubt it. Yeah, no. Hot sauce on the pizza. I mean, the hot sauce on the pizza would probably work, actually. Especially if you went with that chili and lime. I think that'd be really good. Uh, what menus have the hot sauce? Beef ravioli has it, which is a pretty decent menu. Mm, chicken burrito bowl has it. Which is also a good menu. Filled bakery items got a cinnamon bun in there. The cinnamon bun I'm not a huge fan of. It it needs a filling. Um, the cinnamon bun, it it's not like I don't. It seems to me like it doesn't have a filling. It's just got like chunks of like sugar and cinnamon through it. If I'm not mistaken, it's the one that doesn't have the filling. It gets kind of dry. All right, so the consensus, I believe, really was the uh, the white packet of hot sauce. That, yeah, it is. It's a white packet, the chili and lime. Uh, 
I have a dried up one here. <laughs> but yeah, like that. Yeah, there we go. Focus. There you go. One of my favorite hot sauces, if not my favorite hot sauce. It's not that hot, but I do like the flavor of it a lot. That chili and lime really really does it for me. Well, there's a lot to pick from here. I know I'm not doing that one. The the tuna will literally last forever. Mexican style chicken stew. Is there anything in there that could age? No, not really. Pork sausage patty, maple flavored, but there's like nothing in this. Feels like. I mean, it's a full meal. It's just everything in it's lightweight. The almonds are lightweight. Crackers, lighter than everything else. You know, the other bread products you could get. Uh, maple muffin top. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty lightweight. Southwest beef and black beans. What's in this one? Narrowing it down here. It's got the teriyaki beef stick. Apple pieces and the apple pound cake. Oh, ho, ho, ho. well, that's a candidate right there. Cheese tortellini. Yeah, no. Wouldn't be a live stream if I didn't get kicked out at least once. Turn the camera back around. Chicken burrito. Bowl. 16. Filled baker. Yeah, tortillas. Yeah, tortillas. Yeah. I think I've had that one recently. Beef ravioli. Uh, M&M's are pretty good about showing heat. That's the only menu that has M&M's in it, for sure. Heat. That's the only menu that has M&M's in it, for sure. I'm not doing that one. Nothing in there that really ages at all. Beef patty. That's the thing with most of these meals. I mean, they've designed them at this point to where I'm looking through all these thinking like where could I find something that could possibly show some any type of heat stress or any type of aging or anything like that and it's it's hard to pick out even an item or two in something especially two items in one thing that could show any type of heat stress or aging of any type so be patty I don't think there's Anything in this one either. Potatoes, chocolate chunk, cheese spread tortillas. Oh, this one has M&M's. Wait a second. Two of them have M&M's? Or did I just say that about <clears throat> this one and, and uh, I don't know. And I'm definitely not doing that one. Not going to happen. Well, it's narrowed down to those four right there and hmm all right the beef goulash I'm gonna have to get myself another one of these menus but I will uh, I will eat this one tonight Miss Marilyn or wait no Sharon Miss Sharon came in with a super chat there she didn't even write anything well thank you Miss Sharon you didn't have to do that. I appreciate that. Thank you for the super chat. Let's bring the camera down here, son. There we go. There we go. There we go. And we're going to do the beef goulash. Yeah, thank you, Miss Sharon, for the super chat. Patty. All right. Well, there it is. A Warnick. Menu number 22, beef goo wash, is what we've decided on 45 minutes in to the live stream. And I can't... There we go. <sighs> yes! That never happens. <laughs> Peelable seal worked, and it worked well. Let's get this Black Rifle coffee open real quick, too. There's like a little notch right here. A 
maybe. Is that supposed to just rip off there? I guess so. Huh. No, I think it was supposed to stay on there. Yeah. It closes fairly well. Still. How many did it say was in here? Ten of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, there's ten. Oh, these are the coffee bags, too. I was expecting an instant coffee, like a... Well, like a military type. Alright. That didn't come in the ration, just in case anybody would wonder. And no inner bags. So Warnick didn't get the... Uh, Ameriqual double bagged. Only Sapaco. And they did that in 2018, so and they did it clear back in 2016 as well. I think I find that weird, man. Unless they just started double bagging as well. Which is possible, I guess. Let's do this. Alright. Beef goulash. Right on the top, of course. Like I said, that was right on the outside. I'm just not used to having stuff this fresh. I'm serious. I'm really not. This is unusual for me. What's the date on this? 92nd day? Wait, what? Yeah, I guess it'd be 92nd day of 2019. That would be right. We have the patriotic sugar cookies. Yum. Here's our accessory packet. I'll we'll check that out here in a second. Throw it over there. Here's our chunky peanut butter, which I'm a fan of. And our strawberry jam, which they cut down to an ounce as well. Man, I wish they would have stuck with an ounce and a half on that stuff. An ounce and a half still wasn't enough, in my opinion. And they cut it down to an ounce, and it's really not enough now. And here is our milk chocolate cocoa beverage powder. Standard, standard hot cocoa. And we have, ooh, Zapple sauce. I didn't know it was going to be Zapple sauce. Nice. It's a first strike type item. In here, super fresh flameless ration heater. 115th day with Z on the end there. I don't know what that's about. We have our sleeve for our goulash, 230 calories in there, 8 grams of fat, 3 grams of saturated fat, 40 milligrams of cholesterol, that's pretty high, 600 milligrams of sodium, pretty high but not the highest, I've seen a lot higher, it's only 26%. I think the meal I had Wednesday was 44% or 46% of your daily value in just the main, that was uh, beef taco. Uh, let's see, only two grams of fiber, not really enough, in my opinion. And what else do we have here? Uh, the white wheat snack bread. Of course, they add some sodium in that bad boy too. Sodium in everything. How much is in this? Probably a good bit. Eh, not bad. 135 milligrams. That's not bad. All right. The only thing I got to heat up is the beef goulash. Oh, history savior. Almost forgot to donate, so here it is. <laughs> Hope all is well with our awesome community. Much love, guys. Well, thank you, history savior, and uh, passing on the uh, much love to everyone from, from history savior, guys. By the way, if you're not subscribed to history savior's channel, you need to go do that. And when you do that, go over to his video about his subscriber giveaway. Make a comment, and you'll be entered for the giveaway when that happens. When he hits 1,000 subscribers, he's at six something now. I haven't checked in probably a week or two. I don't know, it's probably been less than two, maybe a week. But uh, yeah, go over there and uh, hit that subscribe button. Get yourself entered to win his giveaway, which will be a good one. All right, I'll be right back, guys.
All right, I'm back. Sorry, guys. Accessory packet, and we'll get it on the tray. Accessory packet D, which means no coffee. Because MR Info, the only website I know, other than the government's website, that keeps track, and theirs, I don't think, goes back anywhere near as far or in the detail, unless you get into the actual government documents for the contracts for the rations but the only website that keeps track of MREs is our good friend K-Man that started that website which is MRE Info in here and guys don't forget tomorrow 5 o'clock Ration Museum live stream everybody come over there and hang out and I'll, I'll hang out in the chat and talk to you guys and we'll see I, I assume Sean's probably going to be doing some restoration on some MCI's and RCI components uh, we're going to start off with the butt ration this time. I'm not a huge fan of this uh, this packaging, but it is what it is. I mean, they just went all, like, let's advertise on here, I guess. Lighthouse, the blind and visually impaired, which is who packages this. It's a company that, that employs the blind and visually impaired. And they're the ones putting these together, which is pretty cool. Made in San Francisco. Yep, there's your U.S. issued butt ration. Or paper towels, or whatever you want to use it as. Package of iodized salt, which I never need. Should be four grams of this, right? Where does it say that? Oh, the 88th day. Where's the freaking... Oh, there it is. I don't know what that is on my fingernail. It's like under it. No idea what that is. Moist towelette. Latex free. Mm. I didn't know they put latex in the moist towelettes. And we got a beverage based lemonade. Come here. Here's our chiclets gum. And of course, our spoon that I forgot that's partially biodegradable. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Kittens. Can't help but love them. Alright. I don't know what it is about having an MRE. You just, you just now, like, I expect to have coffee with my MRE. I mean, I know it was standard back in the day. Up until probably, I don't know, probably the mid 2000s, they stopped putting it in every single menu. I could be wrong about that. I'm not exactly sure when they stopped the every single menu deal, but I just kind of expect it to be in there, you know. Is there a peanut butter and jelly? Let me give that a need real quick. Good old chunky peanut butter. This right here is my second favorite peanut butter. The chocolate peanut butter, by far my favorite. Accessory pack of items. Patriotic sugar cookies. Black rifle coffee. We got. Three drinks to make up. I might even not make that one. I, I'm not a huge fan of the lemonade. We'll make it. You guys probably want to see it. I think it goes for 20 ounces anyways it does. So we'll just use a bottle of water that's not 20 ounces. Not get Walmart any free advertising. Oh, if you guys uh, 
you guys don't care, hit that thumbs up or down, either way. Uh, whichever way you feel about it. I would surely appreciate that. Infiltrate the, the Google algorithm and let them know that you love or hate this type of stuff. And of course that goes on your own record as well. <laughs> yep, they keep track of everything now. And uh, they sell sell your uh, your data. I mean your personal data to other companies. That's why you get targeted ads. The further we get into the techn technological age, the more our digital presence as a value. I mean, it's already quite valuable now, but uh, yeah, kind of stupid, but it is what it is now. There it is, the lemonade. Let's give that a try right now. I'm kind of thirsty. Immediately, I can taste that fake sweetener that has almost like a bitter taste to it. If it wasn't for that, this would be this would be I mean it quenches the thirst. It's not bad. This is not a good drink to have with your meal. Whoa. I gotta go get that beef goulash. Crap. You want to come here, little ones? Come here. Hey. Hopefully I didn't leave that in there too long and got a nice uh, Sebastian. That's enough. Sebastian. Oh, my old poodle's feeling froggy for some reason. He's got a bad attitude. The older he gets, which I, I didn't know this, but someone who had a uh, poodle lived to be 17 informed me that it's a thing that happens to toy poodles, or maybe even big poodles. But as they get older, I can't remember what he what, what it, it's diagnosed as something, but they they turn extremely viciously mean. Oh, and I just dropped the black rifle coffee. All right. And we'll start biting you, which he does that. Not all the time, but if I put him up on the couch or something, and when I'm walking away from him, he tries to bite me, and it's just, it's a whole thing. Uh, I'm going to use the Bob Ross cup for, for the cocoa beverage powder. If you got extremely hot water like I have, it's very difficult to get, well, to put your hot water in, in one of these and mix it up. It just it burns the crap out of my hands. And I will say, there's nowhere near as much uh, powder in one of these packages right here as there was in the old school ones. I say that, watch me be completely wrong. It just doesn't seem like it when I put it in a cup. Let's see. Ounce and a half. 1.2. So yeah, this was an ounce and a half. That's 
more powder in this tiny little package right here. <laughs> well, it goes right up, well, I was going to say it goes right up to the line, but it doesn't. It's a little bit lower. That's the difference. But anyway, yeah. So there's more powder in that old school one right there that's probably from the 90s, I'm going to guess. This is probably a 90, or a 98, yeah. I think this is a 98. Those butter flavored noodles. Definitely going to check those out. Like I said, I still haven't sent them. I didn't see a letter or anything in there. Unless I missed it. I don't think I did. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and put the coffee in here too. So I can just dump them both in the same time. Add hot water. Infused for three plus minutes. Brew to taste. Look at there. It says to squeeze it. <laughs> you don't do that with tea. Oh wow. That smells absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah. That smells really good. Look at that pouch. Can't really see through it. Go. Get some hot water up here. Fill these bad boys up. Ooh, that thing swelled up. Should have checked to see how much uh, coffee that actually makes since I didn't do that. It's not going to say on here, is it? Well, let's see what it says on the box. Ingredients 100% Colombian coffee, same exact instructions, product of the UK. I did not know that. I thought this was a an American product. Hmm. Best before date. 1-17-2022. Come on. You gotta give it a longer date than that. It doesn't say how much water to, uh, how much coffee it actually makes, so how much water to add to it. It sucks that that thing wouldn't come out of there for the, for the latch. That's all right, I'll, I'll make one up for it. Because those 10 packs I'll make last, last a while. All right, we've got at least two more minutes for that to set. It already looks really dark. Get those items out of the way there. A real quick stir, probably didn't even need it. Sounds nice and thick in the cup. Yeah, that's looking really dark. Oh, I ain't got no cream and sugar. I'll try it black first. Alright, let's see what these patriotic sugar cookies look like. You get to see if they've had some rough handling or rough life. Yeah, looking pretty good actually mainly intact a lot more intact than uh, a lot of other well I say that <laughs> some crumbs in the bottom it's to be expected shoot they could be this way before they ever even get packaged into the case to be honest That's the torch. I don't know what that is actually. What is that? I think it's supposed to be the torch. Anybody got an idea? That should have been a coin. That's what they should have made that. And then we got a star, of course. Which is cool. Here, let's lay them out here. The ones that aren't broken. Uh, 
Well, they've really changed up the design on the patriotic sugar cookies, haven't they? It used to be like, uh, like an Uncle Sam hat. And, I don't know what's going on with that. Another star. Another one of those. Another star that's made it. That one. Oh, there's a bell. Okay. There. That used to be a hat. It used to be a patriotic or a Uncle Sam hat. Um, there. Uh, almost another bell. What's this one? Well, there used to be a flag. There's not a complete flag in here. Alright, well, that's all I'm going to get dug out of there. Alright, it's time for some Zapple sauce. You can always tell, yeah, with the Zapple sauce, if it's been, uh, if it's gotten some heat, it'll start to turn dark, but this is probably some of the lightest I've ever seen. Whoop. Well, that's not good. Dang it. Alright. Get the spoon. I'm just going to have to eat this right now. Why is that so hot? Oh, I'll bet you the goulash. Well, that must be from the water. It's just a spoon that's hot. Hmm. Yep, that's going to bug me. I can't leave that in there. Alright, white wheat snack bread. <sighs> smells like wheat bread. It's It smells like dough. If you've ever smelled raw dough before, that's what this smells like. It's like very underbaked um, bread. That's what it... I mean, basically that's what it feels like. Definitely what it smells like, but uh, this is more on the moist side. Probably one of the most moist ones that I've had before. It's a little bit dry looking though. Alright. I'm going to put this beef goulash in a bowl. Makes it more manageable. And where I can bring it up to the screen. A little easier. Beef goulash. Ooh. Everything's looking mega fresh, I gotta say. So far. So good. What is in this? I can't remember. Is there rice in this? Is that what that is? Extremely hot. That's some weird looking rice. Almost looks like little pieces of corn. Very much so reminds me of spaghetti. Just from the looks of it so far. Real quick, get this stuff opened up and ready. Gun Dog says the smaller the hole, the more control. You need this strawberry jam up a little bit. Now, strawberry jam does not age well. I'm going to tell you guys that. It's something I've found out over the years is it pretty much always edible if it's in a, if it's in one of the little retorts like this. Yes. Or try laminate, whatever you want to call this. But it will start to congeal 
and change its consistency a good bit from what it's like when it's fresh and it'll it'll also dry out to a certain extent the uh, strawberry jam will grape jelly on the other hand will do the exact opposite it will start to liquefy and if you mix it up it'll it'll just be like this liquefied mess with some like stiffer parts of the jelly in it but strawberry jam does something it, it kind of dries out and gets more congealed and when it gets aged it's kind of weird all right well i'm ready to dig into this uh this beef goulash here where's the chunks of beef at in here holy crap is that a chunk of beef man oh man look at that i gotta get that on camera look at that look at that that looks like a piece of roast beef Wow. Oh, yeah, the coffee. Ah. Burning the crap out of my fingers. That was so hot, you don't even know. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of black coffee myself. I'm going to have to go get some uh, some cream and sugar. Where do I have some creamer at? Hmm. Hmm. Bob sent me those extras. I'll have to dig and see if I can find those extras that he sent me. Anyways, look at that piece of beef. Holy crap. i got to try just the beef. That's looking premium. I didn't know there was chunks of beef like this in there. Right, here we go. Down the hatch. Mmm. Tender. It's juicy. It's got a great flavor. I mean, it's just a really nice chunk of beef. Wow. Wow. I did not expect that in there. And there's like chunks like that all the way through there. And I've, I've definitely got to get some of this like small puffy rice going on here. Sebastian, that is enough, dude. All right, let's give it all a try here. Hmm. Where's the sleeve at? There we go. That is rice, isn't it? What is that? Brown rice? Hmm. It surely doesn't look like brown rice. It looks like white rice to me in person. I mean, I guess maybe from the red sauce is... is I mean, I don't know that that would bleach it out. I just, I guess the mixture between, uh, the red sauce and the, uh, brown rice kind of made it look lighter colored. Because typically brown rice has got a pretty decent brown tint to it. Yeah, those chunks of beef, I'm going to cut them, up, cut them up a little bit and mix them out through there. Because it looks... Okay, it looks like there was three sizable chunks in there. There's another one. Cut it up and mix it throughout. Like I did the other. And where's the other one at? There's another one in there. Sorry, I had my notification noises still on there. All right. Let's get a nice big bite of this with uh, try a little chunk of this bread here. Break a little bit of the year off. Doesn't take much of this. This bread, a little bit goes a long way. <laughs> I'm going to try just a little nibble on its own. Mmm. 
It's got a light sweetness to it. I mean, it just tastes very doughy. I've never been a huge fan of the snack breads, but they are a decent vessel for peanut butters and jams and stuff. But if you're trying to just eat it on its own, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's really got to have something on it or with it. So let's see what happens with it. Hmm. That actually did add a little bit of something to it. Hmm. And that those chunks of beef are, are spot on. Really good stuff. I'm surprised at the quality. Because a lot of times you'll get that pressed and formed just meat that's not really meat anymore. This right here is high quality beef. Hey, Karsten. Good to see you in here, buddy. Alright, I'll take one more bite and then we'll move on to something else here. And I can do that with it as well. Huh. I guess I never really thought about that. Kind of get it out of the way. Clean off my spoon. Going to wash that down with the lemonade. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, this doesn't really mix well with foods, especially something that's acidic. Like that, you know, tomato-based main. It kind of makes this just kind of like sour and not, like, not have a whole lot of flavor. It drowns it out because your palate's really overwhelmed with that tomato base. And then this just kind of, nah. It, it cleanses the palate, though. I am going to get another little swig to... help cleanse the palate yes very good <laughs> make little little breadsticks with it yeah all right let's put some jam out here That looks like applesauce, almost. Very uh, different color. It's more natural looking than uh, than it has been in the past. They've tried to add a red. I'll bet they've added red dye to it in the past, and maybe they've they've stopped doing that. I see vitamin C, but lots of vitamins added. Which, I mean, they've got natural vitamins in them as well, but yeah, I'm not seeing any dyes right off the bat here. Maybe, maybe it used to have dye in it. Because I know I've had strawberry jam from a MRE before that was quite red. I'm going to end up getting that all over me if I'm not careful. All right. Yeah, I'm already wishing I had more of this jam, and I haven't even tried it yet. And I know I'm going to want more on here, so. There we go. That should should do it. Looks like a nice little snack, doesn't it? Give it a try. That almost tastes like a strawberry preserves, where it's got the seeds in it. It's a really fine 
like almost like a fine grittiness to it. And I had to I doubled up the amount of jam that I had on there, and it's still you're still getting uh, more of the bread flavor come through than I would like. I think this this right here will remedy that though. Give the peanut butter a try. Yeah, the peanut butter, <clears throat> the peanut butter drowns it right out. Kind of difficult to eat, though. I'm struggling a little bit here. We'll use some of this coffee to wash it down. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. That's actually, uh, <clears throat> that's a pretty unique coffee though. I mean, that, it tastes like a, a drip coffee. Tastes like I just brewed that in a pot. Pretty impressive. I gotta say. I'd say this is pretty high in the tannins. It's got quite of a, a, it's got quite a bit of that dry bitterness to it, but it's very strong in the like aromatic coffee flavor. It probably smells like coffee in my living room right now from that that cup right there. I could probably drink that black. I'm not going to add. Yeah, hang on a second here. Right off the bat, see Bob saving me with a creamer right there. Okay, oops. Creamer. Is that a, what is, is that a, oh. I thought that was a chili and lime hot sauce right there. It's like a shiny Tabasco. <laughs> uh, two, two, four, four. What? Could that? 2012, they were still putting bottles in until 2013. What could that date be? Or I'm confused. Am I missing something here? My brain just not working properly right now. Mm, there's a bulliards. I'm looking for sugar. I need to stop getting distracted here. There might be a sugar in here. Aha. Sugar. It's a little pack. It's probably more. Oh, look at that. There's a coffee mate, too. fingers around it. I know that's sugar. Oh, cool. Double pack of sugar. <laughs> All right. Good deal. We're in the money now. Going to cream and sugar it up. That's the kind of guy I am. Fully loaded. A lot of people get angry when you put the... Uh, I say a lot. I'd say half the people. Half people are like, oh, you, you got to drink coffee black. You know, I don't like my coffee black most of the time. Uh, I mean, I could, this coffee I could drink black if I had to. 
Some coffees I there, I couldn't. There's just no way. And then like this is going to just enhance this coffee and make it that much better. That seems like a newer creamer there. All right, got my pile of trash building up back here. Isn't that weird how it just like sets on top though? Shouldn't do that. I wouldn't think. This coffee's not steaming, steaming hot still, but it's pretty warm. I gotta give it another try with the cream and sugar. Oh. That almost tastes like a hot chocolate now. That almost tastes like a cocoa beverage powder or something. That's kind of weird, actually. But if you do get a really good coffee bean and a really good coffee, it can kind of give off that cocoa aroma and flavor, which I guess that's what's going on here. I've probably only experienced that a couple times in my life with coffee, but in this case, wow, that's seriously one of the better, I understand why this is so popular now. Anyway, I think it's time for those two to go together. That. Looks like a nice little chunk of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's going to be a lot of uh, chewing wheat snack bread here, but here we go. That would have just been peanut butter on there. It would have taken forever to chew up. But I will say, those two work really well together. Kind of a classic. Tell me down in the comments or in the chat right now, if you have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, what kind of jelly do you use? Do you use grape jelly or do you use strawberry jelly? Or something else. Blackberry. Peach. I'm struggling trying to think of other jelly types. <laughs> Whew. Well, that's some of the freshest looking uh, applesauce. Is applesauce that I, I mean, it's almost clear. You can see the spoon through it. Oh, raspberry. That's a good one. Hmm. I wonder if that's just hang on. I can kind of taste the fortification to this applesauce. I think it's probably just where I'm I guess so used to eating this type of stuff that I pick up on stuff like that. I don't think most people would probably pick up on it. It's very sweet. Very sweet. And very fresh as well. Patriotic sugar cookie. Was the American flag, I think. Well, some sort of rough rendition of an American flag. The sugar cookies have this really nice, like, where they're baked, they kind of get this caramelization to the flavor. It gives them a really nice toasted type flavor to them, I, I guess. Yeah, these are super fresh as well. Now, what I'm 
going to do is put some of this over here. And we're going to take some applesauce and mix into this. We're going to have some sort of, somewhat of a apple pie type dessert with this. And the sugar cookies are really good at soaking up any flavor that you add to it, like this, any liquid base or moist base and they soften up actually could probably throw some more cookies over in there yeah this is going to be pretty killer i can already tell it's looking pretty good anyway and that's if you get menu fatigue this is that's when you start doing stuff like this. You you don't really eat a whole lot of items on their own. You mix them. And that's why you see a lot of guys attempting to mix things up. But I think that looks pretty good. I don't know about you, but we'll see. Hmm. Super chat. Looking back right now. Molder. Are the Patriotic Sugar Cookies ever not broken? <laughs> um, I've seen it happen. It's very rare. Now, you'll always have at least a broken cookie or two from, from what I've seen and what I've experienced. But I have gotten packages where they were 90% together. It's rare. I won't doubt that for one second. It's definitely rare. But, it does, I mean, it does happen. <laughs> but thank you for the super chat, Mulder. I appreciate that. And, uh, I just got, where did I have peanut butter on me? What the heck? I just got peanut butter on the screen. Got to attempt to get it off. jeez. Oh, Without screwing up the live stream. Too bad. Wow. Wow. Really did a number on the screen. Holy crap. I guess I had like peanut butter on the end of my finger right there somehow. And I didn't see it or wipe it off before now. Went through that whole thing. I, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. Anyways, let's get back into this. Again, thank you for the super chat. And thank everybody for the super chat you sent in. Definitely appreciate that. That looks like a pretty good dessert. Looks can be deceiving, but uh, I don't know how you can get wrong with sugar cookies and applesauce. Mm. It's perfect. It's just got a little bit of the crunch left. And the applesauce, it kind of tames down the sweetness of the applesauce. With that toasted caramelization flavor of the sugar cookies. Oh. It's like eating a pie. It seriously, it's like a pie filling. I mean, it's like eating a pie with a crust. It tastes like eating a pie. Hmm. I've had pies that taste a lot worse than that. That is no joke. No joke at all. And if you want it a little more crunchy, you can just add a little bit more of your sugar cookies. Or if you want a little more sauce, you just add some more applesauce and wait. There's the hot cocoa. Been waiting on that. It's got a nice uh, frothy head on it.
I mean, that's just nowhere near as good as the old hot chocolate. It, but this kind of this has a different flavor to it. This has more of a. What am I picking up in that? It's more like a milk chocolate. Uh, what brand is that that I can't remember the two? I know Swiss Miss is one. I can't remember what the other one is that I used to always get. I think it was in a red box. This is more. This tastes more like the Swiss Miss. I was not a huge fan of the Swiss Miss. I would call the maybe I put too much water in it. Maybe that's what's going on here. But it does have a milk, like a very milky chocolate flavor to it. More of a milk chocolate than uh, than your thicker, creamier hot chocolates are. This reminds me more of a. Uh, European hot cocoa, like the ones in the French rations and stuff like that. It's not bad. Very easy to drink. Not too sweet. Not too chocolatey or anything like that. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, evaluation on this is everything is super fresh. No complaints there whatsoever. I've got to get back in this coffee a minute. Mm. Yeah, that's really, really good coffee. Holy crap. Very good. But as far as the meal goes, I mean, everything I'm seeing in here, and we'll check out another one of these in, I don't know, a couple weeks, two, three weeks, something like that. One another Saturday at some point, <clears throat> we'll do the pizza or something like that, because I think the pizza, if anything's going to age, it'd probably be like the pizza. Um, or I'll maybe pick the one with the M and M's just because I know that the M and M's they're good at showing any. But as far as that goes, judging by the heat, the TTI, which is your heat stress indicator or your age indicator, whatever. There, it, it, it looks brand new. If you've ever seen one of the TTIs, it's brand new, basically brand new. That's what they're supposed to look like. Everything in here looks and tastes as fresh as it could possibly taste, I, I think. Oh, I missed another super chat. Sorry, guys. Zedmeister. Well, thanks for the 10 bucks, Zedmeister. <laughs> Appreciate the super chat. And uh, you didn't write anything there, but I appreciate the super chat, man. It's uh, it's about time for some kittens to come out, because this will be the last, most most likely the last time you see them. They're going to be going to their new homes. It makes me sad, but it is what it is. And... Uh, If you guys want to pick yourself up a case of 2019 MREs, fornmre.com, don't forget to get yourself 10 bucks off and use the code OS10 or Old Smoky 10 It's right down the top of the description. There's a link if you want to go over to fornmre.com and pick yourself up a case. I, After having one of these, I definitely would not tell you not to get them. I would I would buy these myself. I'll, put, I'll say that. These are the... I'd, I don't know. Uh, these are most likely some of, if not the freshest MREs that are out there. You might find some 2020s around. If you're extremely vigilant and looking, or you might be able to look on eBay and find a case that's probably going to be about $150 to $175 shipped for a case of 2020s, if I was to bet. Uh, I haven't haven't looked in a little bit, but that's typically... You can, you can take my word for that. That's typically about how it is. <laughs> you know, I, I'll, I'll say this. Let's see, when was it? It was back in 20... Uh, 20... 2016. I got lucky and happened to, happened to get on eBay 
where and this was a long time ago so mre prices have went up since then but it wouldn't have mattered this person had no clue what they were doing and they listed a case of mres on ebay for 30 it's like 31 dollars and free shipping and i was like this can't be real <laughs> I, just, I was like all right screw it I hit the buy it now and i'll be daggone if that case didn't show up in my house and it cost them it cost them four dollars on top of what they charged me to ship them to me so sending my sending me that case cost them four dollars because the 31 dollars it was 35 dollars to ship it to me i set it right on it and uh <laughs> I, I felt awful <laughs> for them people. They just didn't have any clue what they were doing. I mean, they didn't live too far away from me. Well, I guess they lived far enough away. <gasps> You've got to be kidding me. What? The cat just tipped the tray over. All right, you guys are gonna have to give me a minute. Yeah, all that food's in the floor. <sighs> Cannot freaking believe this just happened. Yep, it's on the cord. <clears throat> yep, I don't want the whole meal. Red sauce in the floor. You guys are gonna have to give me a minute. Sorry, take me probably five or ten minutes to get this cleaned up, at least. There's some applesauce on the floor, beef goulash. It's all over my fingers now as well. I can't believe that he did that or it, whatever. I literally just sat it down. Hey, sorry guys. I don't know when that kicked off, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm back. I'm not done cleaning up, but I'm back. I'll try to throw the cats up here or something so you got something to look at. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Boom. Boom, boom. Stay up there, dummies. This one right here. Right here is the culprit. It's it's the trouble of all of them. It's the one that still will not eat food. It's the one that just gives me a hard time. Yeah, that one right there. Still will not eat food. I don't understand. You can see how much smaller it is than the rest of them.
Get down. Yeah, drink some of that coffee, cat. It'll probably explode your heart. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's all I needed tonight. Okay. I couldn't figure out what that noise was. I was like, what is that? <laughs> Playing with the spoon. <sighs> well, pretty much got all the red sauce cleaned up. That's that's good. Cannot believe that he did that. Get down. You guys better be entertaining.
All right. Where's the other one? You want to play with that? Come on, MRE kitties. This one's like, whatever. I like this one. I like all of them, but this one. This one's pain in the butt, the black one. So it, it went 48 hours without me feeding it. But it was eating off its mom, because its mom was feeding it. Uh, and it still refused to eat food. It's got, come here, it's got a baby face. As soon as I turn him over like this, he's like, bottle, bottle, he, she, whatever. What are you? I don't know what you are. Probably a girl. <laughs> the blonde one was trying to get her tail a couple minutes ago. Yeah, this one right here um, is very loud. It's got a really, really loud meow. It's kind of funny. When it wants something, it lets you know. And there's only a couple things it usually wants. Like wants me to take it to the bathroom. <laughs> He'll yell at me, and it yells when it goes. It's it's funny. Yes, I call this one orange one, <laughs> calico one, black one, gray one. I didn't want to name them. No names, because they're going to new homes, and they can give them their their permanent names. If I name them, I end up keeping them. this one or this one yes yeah, she's she's really grown into her her look she was kind of an ugly kitten and uh, she's she's grown into her look quite a bit she's got she's got the greatest attitude though she is the runt I think it's a she I don't know I call them all girls I don't know why I think that one back there's a boy the gray one pretty sure it is all right Yeah, I think it's on here. Let me see. Might not have been on here. Yeah, that's what my temperature was the last time I checked it. So, it's been pretty high. They're about played out, I guess. This one right here. I didn't even know it was over there. I literally just set that tray down. One second later, I, I heard a noise and looked over, and I watched him hanging off the side of it, pulling it over the side. Him. I called it a him. I guess it's... It's actually, I think it's a girl. I don't know. I don't know how to sex them. I think this is a girl. Yeah. So it's her. Here, get over here where you're in frame. There you go. That one I'm about 99% sure it's a boy. This one's a girl, I think, and that one says so three out of four is girls, and then the big gray guy back here, I think, is the only male out of all of them. Whew. I was sweating and freezing before. I'm really sweating and freezing now. Uh, does the new owner. 
No, he won't eat. Uh, you know, I don't know what to do about that, actually. Um, my son works at a restaurant and has found owner new owners for all of these, and my only condition was was for my son, they have to be going to a good home, but they also have to be going to an inside home. You can't just take one of these kittens and throw them outside. So, I don't think you can. I, you know, I'm not going to let that happen. So, the deal is, inside good home and I'm, I'm going to trust my son's judgment on their character this one I don't I don't think I can give it away uh, the way it currently is I, I don't I mean I guess I could give it give the people the bottles and and the formula which I don't have much left I just went to buy some right before this live stream I went to go buy formula and they're out of formula they don't have any um, the only place that even has that around here is Walmart. It's the only place that has it. The only other grocery store that's actually a, a decent grocery store doesn't carry anything like that. So, I don't know. Uh, I've got enough to get through tonight and probably tomorrow. All day. And then that's it. Uh, there, I'll be out of formula and if... I can't get anything. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do. It's going to have to eat food. I've done everything I could trying to... I've tried rubbing food in its mouth. It just acts like it's disgusted by it. So I don't know. I haven't looked anything up on the internet like what to do in this situation. Just kind of been doing what I thought I could do. And I buy them really good food, so I don't know what that is about. Uh if you go to the vet and get it, you pay yeah, I know. Yeah. I think I, I mean, I think I paid ten dollars for a thing of formula, and it's typically lasted about mm, a little less than a week, probably five to six days. And I've been giving them formula since the mom was kind of done with them, so probably about three weeks now, I would say, roughly. Longer than, uh, longer than is that your mommy? Huh? Longer than that. No, you weren't. They, they were just born. They weren't even born. Yes, they were. Go look on the calendar. They're eight weeks old. All right. Exactly. Go look on the calendar. They were born right after we came back. I was here when they were born. I was gone for a day and a half. And that was your birthday, 4-9. Well, 4-8, actually. I think the mom was just in there in the kitchen. That's why this one got up. I thought she was outside. I, I know I threw her outside. All right, guys. I got to finish cleaning up a mess and... Uh, yeah, I'm not feeling the greatest anyway. So, I might try to do like a midweek live stream, depending on if I have an evening open. Or maybe if I'm, I might end up taking a trip this week, and I might live stream some of that while I'm doing it. It just depends. Um, 
but yeah, as far as the uh, the case opening goes, that was definitely uh, definitely looked good. Everything looked fresh. Everything in that particular MRE that I opened up couldn't have been fresher. So I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't say that there'd be anything else that uh, wouldn't be fresh. And for some reason, my phone's not charging. Yeah, they're, they're all snuggled up together. I don't know how hot or cold it is in here right now. Uh, anyway, thank you everybody who was kind enough to send in a super chat tonight. I super appreciate that. Thank you to all my patrons. Really appreciate you guys. Um, next week... I had something planned for next week. I can't remember. I'll, I'll think of it later. I'm not exactly. I'm a little off my memory game right now. Um, it'll probably be something old. I want to go something something old next time. And uh, the fellow that made the reproduction MCI, Mule Combat Individual, he also makes reproduction long-range patrols and uh, he mentioned sending one of those this way probably check that out in a couple weeks or so and uh, be looking forward to checking that out because the MCI was really well done I've got to say for reproduction level that was that was quite well done uh, I need to check out some of the K ration reproductions that are out there too because I feel like they get those wrong more than they get them right as far as the K rations go I, and I feel like they'd be so simple to get right. I, I don't understand why they're always so off. They always look so fake and wrong. But anyway, yeah, that'll probably be ha happening in a couple weeks. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, thank you guys for hanging out tonight. Sorry for the, uh, I don't know what happened there. As soon as that cat spilled that into the floor, whenever I looked back up, the screen was black, and the, the live stream had broken off, so I don't know what happened there. And huge thanks to Art and Nina for sending that case along for us to check out. And again, like I said, we'll check out another one of these here in the next, I don't know, probably it'll probably be a month or so before we do another MRE, because I just did two fresh MREs back-to-back, -back, an 18 and a 19. <clears throat> so I uh, might even do something international next time instead of something uh, instead of something old. We'll see. All right. Well, I guess now really all I got left to do is say thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next live stream. Later.